Tokyo is a city of contrasts, where the ancient and the modern coexist in harmony. It is also a city of endless attractions, where you can find something to suit your taste and budget. Tokyo is known as one of the safest cities in the world, but if you are looking for something more than the usual tourist spots or want to discover the city's hidden gems, then the neon-lit Kabukicho district is for you. Kabukicho is where you get to see a different side of Tokyo. It is a place of colors, mysteries, and entertainment. Come with us as we explore the vibrant streets of Kabukicho and its unique culture. History of Kabukicho To understand this unique area, we'll explore its rich history and growth. Kabukicho's story begins after World War II, when Tokyo was undergoing reconstruction. Plans were initially laid out to construct a Kabuki theater in the region, giving birth to the name Kabukicho. Although the Kabuki theater never materialized, the name stuck, shaping the district's identity. Kabukicho experienced significant development in the 1960s and 1970s, attracting students and young people seeking a place to unwind and have a good time. It became a hot spot for those looking for affordable entertainment and late-night activities. The era saw the rise of the late-night Cinemascope movie theater, making Kabukicho a nightlife destination with game centers and discos. As time progressed, Kabukicho transitioned towards adult entertainment, evolving to meet the changing preferences and demands of its visitors. The Red Light District In the late 1980s, changes in laws and restrictions had a significant impact on Kabukicho. The alterations in the entertainment sector led to the closure of numerous businesses, creating a void that adult-centered establishments swiftly filled with sexual services. Hostesses and host clubs became prevalent, offering adult entertainment at a high cost. Patrons were compelled to buy expensive cocktails, leading to excessive expenses for just a few drinks and conversation. This transformation gave rise to the Kabukicho identity that persists today. Over the years, Kabukicho became known as the Red Light District. Kabukicho earned this nickname due to its numerous sex shops, girl bars, hosts and hostess clubs, and other adult-oriented businesses. Additionally, Kabukicho has been associated with unique bars and services, such as groping bars and J.K. Yossi Kosi bars featuring high school girls. It's worth noting that Kabukicho has recently implemented laws to limit and discourage these activities. However, the area still holds on to its reputation. If you enter Kabukicho during the day, it would seem like a calm town with large classic theaters, shopping centers, a few big hotels and restaurants. It's a great place for the whole family to enjoy the city vibe during daylight hours. However, as the sun sets, a more mature atmosphere takes over. After sunset, Kabukicho transforms, with lively streets in the entire district illuminated by bright signboards. The houses pulsate with loud music, but the night is just getting started, bringing a different energy to the area. Must-see places Kabukicho, although widely regarded as Tokyo's red light district, has more than meets the eye. It's a melting pot of culture, entertainment, and incredible experiences. If you visit Kabukicho, there are certain things you must see before leaving. First up is Golden Guy, a Kabukicho secret that unveils Tokyo's history. These small, old-school taverns, with a few customers at a time, offer a unique nostalgic vibe. It transports you back to the post-war era in Japan, where knights gathered for cocktails with friends. Most Golden Guy bars have a cover fee of a few hundred to a thousand yen, but some welcome non-Japanese visitors visitors without a charge. Each bar has its own theme, catering to different tastes with various drinks and snacks. They typically open around 8 p.m., making it ideal for late-night exploration. If you're looking for a taste of Tokyo's local life, Golden Guy presents a unique experience that will transport you to the past when you step into the small, bustling bars. In Golden Guy, you'll rub shoulders with locals and immerse yourself in the rich culture of Japanese drinking. For a taste of the past, explore Memory Alley, a narrow side street with its roots as an illegal drinking area in the late 1940s. Over time, it became a hotspot for affordable drinks, yakitori, and cabaret-style barmaids. Initially dubbed Piss Alley due to patrons relieving themselves on nearby railroad tracks, this spot is far from fancy but offers simple, plentiful, and cheap booze. Each restaurant provides Japanese beer, highball beer, sour liqueur, shoku, and sake at reasonable prices. As you wander down the alley, the aroma of barbecue smoke and charcoal will greet you. Yakitori is a staple here, available in nearly every restaurant. And Nikomi, a hearty stew made of beef tendon, offal, and vegetables, is a close second. Next on our list is the Hanazono Shrine, nestled among Shinjuku's skyscrapers. Though easily overlooked during the day, the shrine takes on a different charm when illuminated at night. Dedicated to the fertility god Inari, Hanazono Shrine hosts year-round festivities. Open 24-7, it provides a serene escape from the district's hustle and bustle. Strolling through its gardens and relaxing offers a refreshing break from Kabukicho's vibrant lights and activity. 
We also have the Robot Restaurant, a place of futuristic glamour contrasting with Golden Guy's experience. This is a must-visit if you're into Japan's eccentric and surreal side. Robots take center stage in extravagant Japanese festival performances, accompanied by a dazzling neon light display. The Robot Restaurant entrance fee is 8,500 yen, and it offers an experience that matches the fee. Daily shows run from 3.30 p.m. to 9.30 p.m., so grab your tickets in advance to enter this extraordinary world. Another interesting part of Kabuki Cho is Kiyabakura and host clubs, often referred to as cabaret clubs. Kiyabakura caters to male customers, while host clubs cater to female clientele. In these clubs, you'll encounter attractive and charming hosts or hostesses who excel in looks and conversation. The experience involves choosing a host from a menu and enjoying drinks together as you laugh the night away. Keep in mind that hosts are primarily salespeople. The more drinks you buy, the higher their commissions. Despite the underlying business aspect, it's still entertaining to have an engaging and beautiful host to make you feel like the center of attention. Physical contact is off limits, but the connection is established through warm words and flirtation. If you're up for an hour or two of attention from someone with supermodel looks, be prepared to spend a bit more. There is also Toho Cinema, just down the street from Don Quixote. This place features a giant Godzilla head overseeing Kabuki Cho. You can get up close and personal on the 8th floor roof terrace of the Toho building. And there's even a Godzilla-themed cafe in the same building for the ultimate experience. The Godzilla head is not your average statue. It roars and lights up every hour from 10 a.m. to 8 p.m., displaying Kabuki Cho's mix of entertainment and pop culture. Another experience you don't want to miss out on is Love Hotels. Despite the negative stereotypes surrounding Love Hotels, many people visit Japan each year just to experience staying in one. Friends, families, and even non-romantic partners have all embraced this once taboo activity to enjoy the luxury and privacy these hotels provide. Newlyweds often opt for Tokyo's Love Hotels, making them an ideal choice for celebrating their wedding night. Surprisingly, these hotels are reasonably priced compared to regular accommodations. What sets them apart is the array of fantastic features not commonly found elsewhere. Imagine having your private sauna, a karaoke setup, a Blu-ray player, a flat-screen TV, soundproof walls, game consoles, laptops, and even various pieces of fun furniture all in the same room. And if that's not intriguing enough, some love hotels also boast themed rooms for an extra touch of interest. Next up is Don Quixote, also known as Donkey, a 24-hour shopping haven like a Japanese Walmart. You can find everything there. From food to cosmetics, gadgets and souvenirs, it's the go-to spot for discovering unique Japanese gifts or just wandering through a maze of stuff. With its towering height and flashy lights, Don Quixote standing tall in Kabuki Cho is hard to miss. Things to avoid. Although Kabuki Cho is a lively area, you've got to stay mindful of potential risks to make your visits safe and enjoyable. First off, you need to be alert and conscious of your environment. In this bustling nightlife zone, paying attention to your surroundings is crucial. Instead of staring at your phone while walking, soak in the sights, sounds, and movements. Being observant helps you address any safety concerns quickly and avoid scams. Scams, unfortunately, happen quite frequently in Kabuki Cho, much like in any red light district. The general advice is simple. If someone outside is actively trying to lure you inside, it's best not to go. If they mention a price, be prepared to pay double or at least triple that amount. Unexpected charges may pop up, doors might get mysteriously blocked off, and your wallet will likely become lighter whether you agree to it or not. While organized crime clubs once heavily used this bait-and-switch tactic, it's becoming less common nowadays. Nevertheless, stay vigilant. Next, drink responsibly. When you're out enjoying the nightlife, it's totally cool to have a drink or two. But here's the deal. Be super careful with your drink. Never sip from a stranger's cup, especially if they seem unprepared. Even leaving your drink alone for a second might lead to some shady stuff, so keep an eye on it. Remember, safety comes first. Talking about drinking responsibly, know your limits with alcohol. Know your booze boundaries when diving into Kabuki Cho's nightlife. Despite those tempting drinks, understanding your alcohol limits is crucial. Going overboard messes with your judgment and can put you in risky situations. Sip your drinks slowly, stay in control, and make wise choices throughout your night in Kabuki Cho. In this metropolitan setting, protecting your stuff is key. Keep wallets, phones, and bags secure and visible. Opt for crossbody bags or money belts to deter pickpockets. Taking these precautions ensures you have a great time exploring Kabuki Cho without any hiccups. Kabuki Cho is a spot often frequented by members of the Yakuza, the Japanese Mafia, and they're pretty much all around because it's where many of their businesses operate. This presence leads to a noticeable police presence in and around Kabuki Cho to maintain order. While not every bar or club is Yakuza-operated, just their imposing presence is enough to make most folks uneasy. 
Staying on your best behavior is crucial, especially if you've had a few drinks. Surprisingly, the Yakuza and Japanese police often collaborate closely to ensure security in the area. Sometimes, the police even seek the Yakuza's assistance in certain cases. Needless to say, the Yakuza aren't thrilled when people cause trouble in their turf. If you tend to break laws or lose control when you're drinking, Kabuki Cho might not be the ideal spot for you to check out. Finally, prioritize your safety on the tour. Especially when the sun goes down, make safety your top priority in Kabuki Cho. Stick to well-lit, bustling areas and steer clear of dark, hidden corners and alleys. Being in well-lit spots reduces the chances of running into safety issues. Remember, this lively neighborhood is way safer and more fun when you stick to well-lit paths. Kabuki Cho, Tokyo's vibrant and mysterious spot, is packed with adventures waiting to unfold. It beautifully blends tradition and modernity. From post-World War II dreams of a kabuki theater to its current status as an adult entertainment hub. Whether you're in Tokyo for a specific reason or just exploring Kabuki Cho out of curiosity, this guide has got your back. Thank you for exploring Kabuki Cho with us. I hope this guide helps you have fun and enjoy a safe and unforgettable time in Kabuki Cho. If you enjoyed this video, like it and subscribe for more adventures.